Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how to get all the chests in Portia. There's, or, you know, Portia. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. I can't remember how the voice actors did it. But yeah, another guy called Spirit Fang has already made a similar video for, uh, you know, it was like way back. It's for the early access version of the game. But I'll still link his video down below, especially since there's a lot of chests that haven't changed. But there's still some that have, and there's a couple of new chests as well. So, like, for example, these three chests on top of the gate, th those are pretty much, they've pretty much been there since early access, as well as the chest behind this cafe, been here since early access. And I think one of the major differences is that you can't jump around this tower to get to the middle chest here. But now you have to jump on top of the round table, the restaurant, and you know, do a bit of jumping to get there. I prefer dropping down here first because then I can jump back on the roof here instead of going down and you know, climbing again. And we just need to jump to the blue roof and drop down here to open the middle chest. The next chest is behind the ANG Construction and Commerce Guild. And there we have it. Um, the next two chests weren't available. I'm not sure if this was in Spirit Fang's version, but I can't remember when coming inside Happy Apartments was made possible. But there are two chests inside here, both on the left side. So first floor, final door on the left. And on the second floor, it's the... On the second floor, it's the second... I don't know, first door on the left. But you don't even have to go inside the room because you can open it from here, beside this lamppost, see? And if we go inside, you can see that it's definitely in there. A lot of these chests are really helpful, especially when you're starting out the game. What with the early resource grind and everything, you get some, you know, you get a decent weapon that you don't have to craft. You get equips and a bunch of stamina recovery items, which are the most helpful in my opinion. So for this chest, that was just one way to do it. You can also jump from the roof of What's this called? Again, the round table and, you know, jump from this path like so. So whichever one, you know, makes it easier for you, do it. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just exploring because I can't, I haven't really explored the town much since I started playing the full release version. So this chest over there, you can jump from up here and open it that way, or if you miss that, you can jump here on top of the umbrella and open it from here. And, uh, you know, it's really helpful that there is a lot of chests you can open. And, I don't know, most of these are, you know, easy to spot. You, you'll probably pass by them and just see them for your maybe and some of them are, you know, easy to spot, but you're not sure how to get to it, or maybe easy to spot. Oh wait, I mean hard to spot, but pretty easy to get to. This one is, I think, also new, this chest. There's one chest inside the school, and you just have to climb the stairs to the right. Pretty cool that they have a, you know, girl with a pearl earring painting over there. I, I'm not sure what other references they have inside this game. I would love to make like a compilation of that. I am like I absolutely adore this game. I've been playing it since early access and I'm really happy that, you know, a lot of people who, you know, play on console now have the chance to play this game. I'm sorry, got a little lost for a bit. Um so over here is another chest. In this small corner, um, what is this place? I'm not sure, it's an unused building. Yeah, there's there's a chest in that corner. And on the upper corner of that over here is a chest behind Gail's house. 
there's a you know a couple of chests behind this house um one of which is up here so we'll do the top one first when you're climbing up here in this small corner is a nice little chest tucked away and behind gail's house this one in the small alley is another chest and this is Django's home, which I think has one of the best things that you can open for from the chests, which is a practice sword. And you may say like, oh, it's not even that great, it's just a practice sword. But when you're like, in the beginning of this game, you don't have any hardwood to craft the pra the blah blah blah. You don't have any hardwood to craft the practice sword. Now you do, but now you have a practice sword and it, it's going to last you for a while because you can upgrade it upgrade it oh why am i pronouncing things so wrong but i don't want a record like another one so let's just deal with this <laughs> the next one is um the next two or the final two is at the church which is a pretty long run so while we're opening it i'm gonna take a chance to say that if you found this video useful obviously the video isn't done yet but if you found it useful i'd really appreciate it if you Press the like button down below. If I missed any chests, uh, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I'm just so scatterbrained and I didn't write them all down. I just tried to remember where they are. And lastly, if you want to see some more my time at Portia, my time at Portia, my time at Portia content, whatever, whatever, however it's pronounced you know more of this game's content or just more casual gaming content i'd really appreciate it if you pressed the subscribe button and i've already got a couple of videos planned for you know a couple more my time at 40 of videos planned and that's pretty much it um, enjoy all of your loot as you can see lots of loot enjoy all of your loot and thanks so much for watching I'll see you again, hopefully, in the next video.